Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Rust Cosmic Desktop by the good people over there at System76 that are based in Colorado. And uh, the first step to do that is we're going to open up the terminal and we're going to type in sudo nano ets gdm3 custom.config. And what we're doing here is we're going in here and we're going to enable Wayland. So you'll see Wayland enabled is set to false originally. We're going to set that to true. Do a control O to write it out, O for out. Press enter. And then a control X to escape. And then I always like to just up arrow, go back into it, and make sure that Wayland enabled is still set to true. So that's good. So it took our settings there. And once our Wayland has been enabled, let's go ahead and give it a reboot. And I'll see you on the other side. Okay, now that the restart's over, we're going to bring up Terminal again. And we're going to type in sudo apt install cosmic dash session. Press enter on that, put in your password. It's going to download about 508 megabytes worth of stuff. It's just the modules for the cosmic desktop environment. So press yes on that. Let it download. And you're going to get uh, prompted for a greeter. You can go with the Cosmic Greeter or the GDM3. Let's try out their new Cosmic Greeter. All right, now that that's done, I'm going to go ahead and give it another restart. And um, when you go to type in your password, if you click on the little cog, you'll notice that you've got the Cosmic option. Select that and go ahead and log in. But I'll, I'll see you on the other side of this reboot. All right, and I've made it on the other side of the reboot. And uh, this is the Cosmic Greeter, if you happen to select that instead of the GDM3. It's got our date and time, our battery, our Wi-Fi, accessibility, keyboard. I'm not sure what that one is. It's like settings, hibernate, reboot, and power. And then we can put our password in, and then we've got our drop down. This is basically what's in the COG uh, menu if you did go with the GDM3. So we're going to keep Cosmic selected. So going to type in our password and log in. Okay, and I can't log in here. So what we'll do, all right, so what I did there is I did a Control-Alt-F4. And I'm going to log in here. And I'm just going to download the uh, GDM3 so we'll have that instead of the Cosmic Greeter because there is an issue with it. So we'll do sudo space dpackage reconfigure gdm3 okay and as you can see this is basically the option we were um, greeted with during the cosmic install so this time we're going to do gdm3 so we don't run into the issues that we had before And we'll do a reboot. All right, and we've made it into the Cosmic Desktop. Um, we can just go over here to the top right. And we can see, if we click on the power button, we've got settings, lock screen, log out, suspend, restart, and shut down. To the left of that, we've got our notifications, where we can put in do not disturb mode, and then there's some more settings. To the left of that, we've got our battery, shows us the percentage, and we've got different profiles. We can go into battery or high performance. Increase the lifespan of your battery by setting a maximum charge value of 80%. Okay, so that's gonna help out with the, the uh, longevity of your battery. If you enable that one. And then we've got our power and battery settings, and it looks like a rocker for the brightness of the screen. And then if your keyboard has LEDs, it looks like you can set the brightness of that as well. And then the wireless, and then we've got our audio. Click on that. You can adjust the volume of your speakers and your mic, change your input and your output, and sound settings. So what we'll do, we'll go back to the power button, click on that, and I notice the settings. So we'll click on the settings. And this is, looks like where you'd go in and change your wallpaper and different things. Yeah. Desktop and panel. 
wallpaper, appearance, workspaces, and notifications. Let's go into desktop and panel. Okay, super key in action. Launcher workspaces. It looks like all this is grayed out, so this might not be ready yet. Input devices, keyboard, mouse, touchpad. I am having to click. Let's see if we can enable tap to click. Okay, that's going to be better. And then the display. I've got my capture device and then the laptop display. And it's set to, it looks like it's set to 1680 by 1050. That should be 1080p. I'm not sure why that's reporting that way. And then there's a lot of to do's here. So it looks like the sound's not quite ready. System and accounts. Looks like you can go in here. Let's go into the about. Yeah, so this is, looks a lot like the GNOME About page. So if we scroll down here, we can see we're running Pop! OS 2204. We're on the Cosmic Desktop environment, and that is running Wayland. So very cool. So I'll click out of that, and let's just do a Super T, bring up the terminal, and we'll do a NeoFetch. All right, again, we're running Pop! OS 2204. That's kernel 6.6.10. And we've got a little over 1,800 packages running the bash 5.1.16. And the resolution says it's 720p now. So, yeah, the resolution's not reporting correctly. Uh, the desktop environment is the Cosmic, that new Rust Cosmic desktop. And this is the Cosmic Terminal, it's saying. And sitting here idle... We're running about 3.3 .3 gigs. All right, let's take a quick look at the wallpapers they've got. So we'll click on the power button and go to settings. And it's desktop and then you go to wallpaper. I'm already in here. If I scroll down. We've got the basic Pop! OS desktop, but if you scroll down a little bit further, You'll see they've got some new ones in here. Different artwork. Try to get this window out of the way. I think if I had to pick one, I'd probably go with that one. And just real quick, I do want to show, it took a minute, but but if I go back into the, to the uh, dock at the bottom, when you open a window, the dock automatically hides itself. Um, but the icon was a solid white. It took a minute, but now it, it does show the correct icon for the terminal. And that's going to do it for today's video. Here are some videos you may find helpful and informative. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. If you're new here, please consider subscribing so you don't miss out on any future videos. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.